Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. I'm Chris Cavalier. We are getting set to go on a neutralized target in an advent vehicle. So we're bringing along Isabel, we're bringing along April, we're bringing along Cavalier, Farron, Mike, and Brent. So I did equip another med kit on Cavalier. So we have two med kits. It also makes them immune to poison, which can come in useful at times. Um, we did get the AP rounds. We're going to put that in April Jester so she will be, be able to take out any armored things that we run into. Otherwise, I think we're pretty much set to go. We do have the plate armor now, but I do need to research the predator armor. We are also researching an exosuit. Lots of exciting stuff going on with the armor. Sky Ranger deploy. In position to drop. Let's drop her down. The aliens are moving a VIP of some importance through this area on board an advent transport vehicle. And the target is apparently valuable enough that the spokesman has asked us to intervene. We're moving to capture or kill the VIP. Secure the area and neutralize any hostile resistance. Sounds good. Roger that, Central. Let's make it happen. Operation Blood Fist, which is a little bit disgusting. There must be some guy that we assigned just to come up with the name for our top secret operations. That's one you, you know, you don't even want to repeat that. It would be somewhat disturbing. Look at Cavalier looking smart. Farron's ready to get thrown back in the danger. Brent's ready to dance. We're all set to go. Looking good. Looking good. Menace one five. Target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. That's kind of crazy. We go in and we come back. We're in concealment. Okay, we got 12 turns, so we are on a timer, so we're going to want to be efficient with our time as much as possible. Let's see here. For some reason we got Isabel up in the front. You know, I guess we probably could just have her go as far this direction okay. as possible, see if she runs into anything. She runs into nothing. You know, we could do the same thing with Cavalier. Put him way over here. We see nothing. You know, that rooftop is a possibility. Let's see here. Mike, where can you get to? You know, so going on top of this building may not be a bad idea. You know, if we're going to send somebody in, you know, maybe we should send in Mike. Mike has that big knight, nice, that nice big armor. So if, see, if we send him there, we could potentially aid him and give him some better Location defense. Confirmed. Let's do it. Look at that. Three grenades for Mike. Very nice. Okay, so he is safe. That's a good sign. Do we want to do the same thing with Brent is the question. You know, it's going to get us over there much faster. Yeah, maybe we can do, the, do something like that with Brent. Okay, Brent, did you want to reveal something? Eyes on hostile patrol. Yes, you did. So we got the shield bearer. We have Big Ugly there. Let's see, 53% is not a great shot. For her. You know, I don't think she's gonna be able to see them from up here. What if we put her over here? You know, I don't know if I want to do that. Affirmative. So I'm actually thinking that if we encounter that Mouton, the Mouton has a grenade, and when you're when when some when your enemies have grenades, be on top of a building 
it's usually not your best decision. Something that we want to keep in mind. Moving on target location. Okay, so who do we have left to move here? Farron. You know, so Farron can probably do something like this or go up here. You know, maybe we keep him down below. He's probably gonna have a sight line ruin there. Maybe go here. I'll give him options. I'll give him full cover at least in one direction. Let's see. Maybe we'll keep you down here. Maybe move you back. Let's move you over here in the full cover. Out. Let's see if they move. Not that I'm wanting to move. Here's somebody climbing something. You know, we can send Mike over here over here to check things out. Which could be a little bit dangerous. We know we could send Farron forward and see what he sees. You know, maybe let's just send Farron over here. Scout out for us. Okay, so there's that Mouton. Let's see here. Does April have a shot at him? She does not. So Mike can go here and not set him off. He could also go here and not set him off. Confirmed. Maybe let's go there. VIP in tow here. Again. Target identity confirmed. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP if possible. Knock them All out right. and bring them in. We got those AP rounds just in time. Okay, so Mike is not in a very good position here. I'm worried that he may set those guys off. So what we may do is have him retreat to some degree, but then bring in everybody else and start attacking. So let's go ahead and move Brent up here. Let's see, Cavalier. Kinda, uh, I was hoping that we had some better sight lines through there. You know, we may have to wait another turn before we engage. I also don't want my guys too close together. Yeah, this is just... Just weird. You know, let's at least get April over here. You know, what can she do? She can't really get up there. You know, even bringing her down over here is an option, but I think let's go right over here. I think Farron can probably inch a little bit closer. Maybe do something like this with Farron. See, 89% on that guy is pretty darn good, but it's a bit dangerous. So I'm going to do Overwatch. Let's see, I think she can move forward at least somewhat. Move. Okay. And yeah, we're not going to worry about hacking that right now. Sharon just doing Overwatch. Scanning. Brent doing Overwatch. Cavalier. You know, maybe Cavalier is the guy that we bring down over here. What else can we do with him? You know, maybe okay. right here. I just want to make sure that we don't have one grenade just hit a bunch of people at the same time. Okay, they're starting to move towards us. Well, that's interesting. It's also a bit annoying. These guys are starting to move in on us. Wow. This is just messy. Okay, so Farron is a great shot at the shield bearer. 
Let's see, who do you see? You see that mech. You know, you do have, a, have the opportunity to actually come down here. You know, maybe let's do this. Heading out. Mike, you move back. Okay. So, let's see, she already probably has a pretty decent shot from where she is at. Let's see, Brent. Brent, what could you do? We can move Brent back. He can't move all the way back there. What could he do? Oh, that's interesting. He can go over here. Question is, what is he going to see from there? You know, maybe we almost want to go here. Yeah, let's send Brent down over there. So we really just need to engage these guys as soon as possible. We've done enough messing around. Let's see, April, what can we do with you? So if she went there, she would have some sight. You know, it would just be with her pistol. You know, we could also leave her for going um, just in case. No, I think we gotta, we gotta bring her in. So have her go on Overwatch. Farron, I'm still undecided on. Let's see, she... Who, who's the best person to go with first here? We could do a grenade. You know, a grenade is probably a pretty good move. You know, Cavalier. So I think you have a pretty open shot. So what we may do... Roger. I might go on Overwatch. On. Farron going to Overwatch. Isabel going to Overwatch. I think we'll leave Cavalier just in case. Let's see, let's make sure we get both of them here. I think that'll do it. Let's make it happen. Let's hope we don't sit off this other group as well. Kind of probably have a big hole in the roof now. So we did a little bit of shredding. Let's see how this works out. Let's hope that we can put them down. Okay, they went the direction that's going to help us out. Okay, I think we put down the shield bearer. The Mouton is still up. And the Mouton is down. Nope, the shield bearer is still up. You want some more? Okay, that uh, did not quite work out the way I was hoping. Did not quite work out. So Mike is in a pretty rough spot. If anybody is. So let's see, what can we do? You know, I don't think Cavalier is going to be able to go down and get in a decent spot to shoot. You know, I could go there. But I think my best bet is probably to have him move in a little bit. Let's see. Where's a good spot? Probably, say, back here. I guess I could just go right here. And then do an aid protocol. Let's find Mike here. Since Mike's in danger of being flanked. Yeah, the I think Farron didn't get a shot off. I'm not sure if Brent got a shot off. Well, sir, we have the threat assessment too. This is I forgot about that. So now if this shield bearer actually moves anywhere, Mike's didn't get a shot at him. That was kind of unusual. Not sure what happened. Now oh, this is really interesting. 
So, did he take a shot and just really didn't do much? That's kind of what I'm thinking. So Fair is still in cover. See, so Mike could definitely move over here and flank him. Tired of waiting around. So I think we're gonna do that. And we end up setting off this other group. Let's see what are these guys gonna do. Okay, that really did not help me. You know, Mike does have a grenade. Let's see what other options we have. Let's see what April has. 83% on the mech, 50% there, 31 there. You know, April may just go ahead. Let's see, she could use her lightning hands first. Shoot at him. It's a free attack. Okay, that missed. Shot wide. Now I think we need to try to take down this mech. So there's a couple different things that we probably could do to improve our chances. One, we could have Mike shoot a grenade, but Brent does have a grenade. Let's see here. Brent also has hollow targeting. 72 on the Stun Lancer, 43 there, 23 there. What if we put a grenade into the mix here? What can that do? Hit both of them. I don't think we can hit both of them. Could hit him. I'm almost liking taking those two guys out. Okay, let's think about that a second. You know, April going after this mech is probably our best bet. She does have the armor-piercing rounds. Let's see what she can do with that. Six damage to him. It's nice. We will take it. Let's see here. Farron... Baron could definitely move up and get a good shot. You know, Mike here, what do you have for options? Nothing too good there. The other thing that you could do is you could actually blow out this wall, but... I think I just need to have you get, take him out. What do you have? You have blast padding and grenades. So what are the odds of taking him out? You have a chance. Let's try it. Okay. Good job, Mike. Good job. How many is that now? I don't know. I wasn't keeping score. My ammo's running low. Okay, Isabel, what can we have you do? You could move forward and get a shot on somebody, I bet. You know, it get kind of, gets kind of funky trying to uh, see... Okay, so she could have a shot on the mech. And that's probably going to work Position for us. Confirmed. Okay, 83%. Let's take it. That works. Nice shooting, Isabel. Well, hopefully, I didn't call you April. Looks like something over here. So we got Brent, we got Cavalier, and we have Farron. So Brent, I think I'm gonna have you go ahead and shoot a grenade into these two guys. Grenade out. Hopefully, take out his cover. Uh, I don't think that took out that cover. Did it? No, it didn't. Okay. Cavalier could drop down. You could have a shot at him. Not really what I was hoping for. What, what other kind of weird shots could I make here? You know, oh, right there. I could get down right there and make a shot at him. 
Let's see, is he gonna be in full cover? He probably is in full cover. You know, Farron can get to there and get a shot on somebody. Probably that shield bearer. Yeah, we're not gonna quite be able to take out everybody. But what we probably could do... Where can Cavalier get to? Cavalier could go, say, in here and do an overwatch, probably. I don't know, something like that. Moving to position. Let's go do that. Yeah, let's have him do that. Have him do an overwatch. You know, we could have him do the threat ass No, he can't do the threat assessment again. Okay, so let's have him do an overwatch. Farron, I think, Farron, we are going to move you forward a little bit, and you are going to also do an overwatch. Cavalier makes it happen. Six damage Hostile to the Stun Lancer. Yeah, I think this guy's going to retreat. Can I take a shot? Okay, he armors himself. It's okay. Menace one five. Be advised. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. Let's see here, Mike. Mike, we're going to have you go around here and flank this guy. Seventy-three percent. You could also shoot a grenade. You know, maybe the grenade is not a bad choice here. Okay, we don't want to get too close to that guy. Maybe something like Bring that. Out. Playing with fire here. Be accurate, Mike. Okay, now we have this guy in the clear. His shield is removed. April does not have a shot on him. You know, let's, maybe we, just, we could try just getting Isabella shot here. Let's see, is she going to have an opportunity? She will. There now. Make sure we're shooting at the right guy. Take it. Keep on calling her April. Isabel. Look at Farron. Yeah, I didn't get it. He's a wanted man. Okay, we can bring Brent closer. Finally. I know, big dog. I know. Oh, look at this. Look what Brent found. That uh, is not cool. Let's see. Does April see any of them? No. Of course not. See, we can I'm move going. her up into a better spot, probably. Hopefully she doesn't move into their range. Okay, she will set up an overwatch. See, Cavalier. I think Farron's gonna have to move up and do something. Heading to that Let's location. bring Farron up here. Oh, 
hundred percent. I think we need to take this. That uh, worked out pretty nice. I got it, right? Yes, you did. Good job, Farron. Okay, so all their shields are Position gone. Compromised. We got Brent and we got Cavalier. So what I'm thinking we do with Brent... Is let's have him go ahead and suppress the Mouton. Let's see, Cavalier... Let's have Cavalier move up. Got it, moving. Trying to get more into the fight. Let's see what they do. Okay. Oh, he shoots at Isabel and misses. Let's see if these guys do anything too crazy. What do you think he's going for? Is he gonna raise somebody or? Yep. Looks like he raises a shield bearer down in the building, down there to our left. There he is. What are, we, what are you gonna do? Okay, so he raises somebody. Okay. So we need to make things happen. That's basically what it comes down to. So I think we're going to do some pretty risky stuff in this turn. And if we're doing something risky, we pretty much know it's going to involve do Mike doing something very unorthodox. So Mike is going to move here, pick up the magazine and the auto loader. This looks like the stop. Mike's going to stay out in the open here. Let's see, we got all these guys. He's going to launch a grenade at these two guys. This is for you. So now we've left Mike in a very vulnerable position. So now the question is, can we get Mike into a spot? Or actually, can we make sure that Mike survives? It's going to be the big question. So what do we have for shots here? 73... 67... 47. Okay. Farron, it looks like you're pretty close to a fire. Isabel, how close can you get... over here? You know, I think Brent can get right up in somebody, somebody's business. He can't quite flank. So we may send Brent in to do is actually go up here, flank him. Okay, there's the guy we need to knock out. Okay, Brent. See what you got. Wow, you did not put him down. I am somewhat shocked. Get in the water here. Okay, we got Farron. Got Isabel. We got Cavalier. What can we do? I think Farron might have a good shot from there. I think Cavalier may have to go over here and flank that guy. You know, the threat assessment is probably something else we may have to look at doing, but we need to get this guy out of here. On your order. Let's see what we got here. 100%. Let's take him down. That works. X ray neutralized. Okay, one guy we don't have to worry about. So we got Isabel. We have April, we have Farron. What is April's best shot? 73 for him in the back. 
Let's take it. Very nice. That takes down two enemies with one shot. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Okay, we still have Mike in a very precarious situation here. April's gonna get an additional move, but she is not close enough to get a shot. You know, the best we probably can do with her is have her go on Overwatch. If that Mouton moves closer, we can get a shot at him. So now we have Farron and Isabel. So I'm thinking we save Isabel to try to protect Mike if necessary. But Farron, I think with Farron, we just try putting him into a spot where okay. he can get a good okay. shot on the Mouton. Let's see if this works. 34% is not too great. Not too great at all. Let's see here. What can we do with Isabel? You know, she does not have very good cover. You know, I think we're going to take this shot with Farron and see what happens. Farron. I really need you to hit this, buddy. Well, he, he, I, guess, I guess he grazed him. Yeah. So now, yeah, we're, in, we're kind of in a world of hurt here. Mike's in a tough spot. Mike does have excellent armor. You know, if we're going to put anybody in a tough spot, it's probably best that it's him. So what we may do is just try to boost his armor as much as possible by doing aid protocol. Let's see, do we have anybody grouped up too close together? I was worried about the grenades from the Mouton. Although the grenade is probably the least of our worries right now. 28, yeah, that's not a very good shot to take. So what we're going to do is make sure that Mike has as much defense as possible. Okay. It's gonna be scary. It's gonna be scary. What are you gonna do, big boy? Oh, look at this. He goes and picks on Brent. And he misses. Swing and a miss. You know, Brent is pretty agile for a big guy. You gotta give him that. Okay, so we need to move in on the guy that we're looking to knock out as much as possible. So what we're going to do, let's see, Brent and Cavalier both have hollow targeting. So maybe what we do is have Brent attack first. He needs to reload. Make sure we're shooting the right guy is always important. Ready to rock. See what we got, Brent. Okay. He did not put him down. So I think the next option that we're going to go with is probably... You know, we don't necessarily have to go with Cavalier. Let's see, Isabel can move forward. And get a shot. You know, she can go, like, over here. Let's do that. Way to go, Isabel. With her heart gun. Ammo. Okay, so we need to get in here and make some stuff happen. Let's see, Mike. Is Mike, you go over here and start checking things out. You go make sure it's Final. safe. Okay, we didn't send anybody off. Let's see, April. See, our extraction point is over there. You now we could just have April move up over here. Let's do that. Don't run through the fire. Farron. You know, Farron, we may send you down here. Could have you go back into conceal mode. I don't know if that's really going to do us much good. So you go down there, check that out. Uh, 
mic. Let's see. Let's have you go Back ahead and reload line. while we have a chance. Cavalier, you start moving over here as well. You know, maybe not everybody on top of that. See, we could get up there and also work him up top, but that's probably not necessary. Let's just do something like that. I think that probably ends our turn. Let's see. Back there is our target area. I think we can have can April go that. up over here. Okay, there's nobody over there. Farron, you punch this dude out. Good job. Very nice. Status okay, Farron, confirmed. Target you to package him in custody. Out. I wonder if I can go into concealment while carrying this guy. That'd be kind of cool. This is the one, right? Holy cow! Do I even want to check it out, see if I can. If you say so. That would be pretty funny. I don't think it's going to be necessary, though. Okay, April, we're gonna have you reload. Locked and loaded. Mike, you know, I don't want to get too far over here and say reveal something I'm not ready for. So what we may do is just play it fairly cautious. Got it covered. Say go with Overwatch. Yeah, let's just take it Got easy. It Isabel, you are about out of ammo, so we I'm may just put move. you in a position where you can go part way and then reload. Let's do this! Cavalier! Now let's have you reload as well. You can go on Overwatch. Oh yeah. Come get some. More hostiles inbound! Okay, I was sort of expecting this. Menace 1 5, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. You know, I'm not too worried about it. Let's see here. What can we do? Probably could have her move Whatever in a little say. bit. You know, I, I should be more focused than just trying to get people out of here as much as possible. Because if they land and we're close enough, we can just step into it and we can, we can say we're out of here. No need to ask twice. All right. Roll it out. Isabel, you are way behind. In fact, you may ruin our strategy of getting out of here. Where can I put you? you know, I don't know if there is a good place to put you. She is somewhat slow. Double this is going to cause us a little bit of a problem here. What about Cap... Or, who's this here? Brent. Yeah, Brent's going to be able to get right up in the Rolling business. Out. So given the situation that we're in, I may just have Cavalier, say, move fairly close. Maybe do something know. like this, and then do... Aid protocol on somebody? Question is who? Okay, you don't want to do it unfair, and so Mike or Brent? Brent has a hollow targeting, so let's go with let's go with Brent. Let's see April. Now April's in a position where she can actually roll out pretty easily. Let's just leave her up there. So we're definitely not going to be able to kill whatever drops out of here. Immediately. Anyways. Two stun lancers on a mess. Okay, 
Brent lights up the street. He's gonna start a car on fire. Okay, we just shot a mech with a pistol. I guess we had the AP rounds, so that's all right. Okay, so now the big question is, can we make it out of here? Menace one five, hostile interceptors are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Nope, so Isabel can't make it, Cavalier can't make it, which means we're gonna have to fight here for a turn. Which was not what I quite had planned. Let's see here, what do we got for options? So Mike does have a grenade. So we could definitely shoot a grenade at somebody. Isabel needs to move forward as much as possible. Cavalier needs to move forward as much as possible. So if we're gonna do that. I'm thinking let's have Brent move forward, see if we can't take out the stun lancer. You know, maybe the first thing that we do is just shoot him. Let's see, April. Okay, she will be able to make it there. Let's go ahead and take out this guy. And I made a mistake there. I should have shot with my pistol first. Okay, I was hoping we could take him down. That messes up my plans a little bit. Okay, Brent. Brent, we're going to send you in here. We need to take out the Stun Lancer. See what you got, Brent. Okay, and Brent did not take him out. I'm out of firepower over here. Okay. This is not quite going the way I had planned, but when does it? When does that ever work? Okay, what do we got for Cavalier here? So see if Isabel moves out over here. Why can I not? I guess she could go over there, except for she can't see a whole lot. Brent should have Harlow or Harlow targeted, uh, Hollow targeted that guy. You know, we may just have some people out in the open. You know, Farron could drop this guy. See, Mike could definitely move up here and take him down. But I probably need to get up there and throw a grenade on that guy. See what could I do with this? Take this. Let's do this. Okay, so now we got him in the open too. You know, Farron, you're gonna have to put this guy down. See, where can Isabel? What can she see from here? Somewhat limited. Moving to designated position. See, Cavalier, what are you gonna see from here? I'm on it. You're gonna be able to see a few things. Eighty-two, eighty-two, seventy-eight. Okay, Farron. You put this guy down. It's getting to be a much much more exciting than I had planned. Take it easy. Okay, what do you got? 77, 69, 66. You know, Farron, you try that guy. Oh, man. 
That would have worked if I had you shoot at the guy back there, but that didn't Training quite work out. Fast. Well, Cavalier... You know, let's actually check out the Haywire Protocol. I could use one of those. Let's just see what the percentage chance is. Stun 91. Okay, it's not good enough to do. And I wasn't thinking stun, I was thinking of taking control of them. But I don't think it's really going to work out too well for us in this situation. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do combat protocol on this guy. Take him out. Isabel, you go ahead and shoot that guy. So we took out that mech. Okay, we take him out, so we got the one stun lancer left with one hit point. And you know, he may go and knock someone unconscious. Oh, look at this. He's going for Cavalier. Cavalier dodge! I'm alright! They're moving the flank! Alright. Honestly, we could just leave him. Okay, so Farron, you pick him up. This Wasn't is worth one, you right? dropping in the first place. Okay, let's get you out of here. In fact, we can get everybody out of here. Just leave that stun lancer, I guess. I was looking today, and there's actually a mod that you can get. Where you can have everybody evac at once. VIP oh, that was, uh, that yeah, was a pretty cool secure. idea. Go, go, go! Let's move already. Got it covered. Let's do this. Step it off. Heading home. Getting out of here. Just in time. Target it in. Getting out of here. And we're out of here. Okay, another, another pretty sloppy run on my part, but we all survive. Jeez, was anybody even hit? I think we managed to dodge two melee attacks, which is pretty incredible. Yeah, we got we got pretty lucky. I'm not not real impressed with my my tactical ability in the in that particular mission. So back-to-back -back missions pretty sketchy on the tactics. But we survived. So you never really can complain about that too much. Survival is always the number one. If every mission goes this smoothly, it's only a matter of time before we regain control of the planet. Yeah, smoothly is not necessarily the word that I would use. Look at look at April here. She's really chalking up the, the kills. And again, she always goes on every mission because she never gets hit. Oh, look at this. Let's see here. Hail of bullets. That's pretty interesting. I, lo I love that. The, the random special abilities is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We're going to go with the revival protocol. Look at this guy. Tim Another Dixon. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. It's funny. Sometimes you think you can play the game as best as you can play it, and you just get slaughtered. And then I just play it sloppy two missions in a row, <laughs> and I'm getting all this praise. It's kind of funny. Let's see here. Resistance comms at capacity. 
Yeah, we're probably gonna want to get that where people are getting going those as soon as possible. Advent burgers. But if I find another rapper stuffed under one of these command consoles, there's gonna be hell to pay. Let's see here. We got one turn on the exosuit, two turns on the alien debris. I think we just go back out here for the moment. Supply drop available. Yes, we know. No, not now. Let's see. What do we want to hit? So we got our supplies. We have the scientists. We're going to get the Avenger scientists. Then go back get the course. supplies. Lots of flying around. Okay, let's get the scientist. Which will get interrupted twice. Exosuit. This heavy armor combines reinforced advent plating with a powerful exoskeleton offering superior protection and damage resistance coupled with a wrist-mounted rocket launcher. With further study, we can unlock additional heavy weapon options for the suit. One exosuit has been added to the inventory. Experimental heavy weapon is now an option, so although our heavy armor suits are already a formidable protective enhancement for our troops, with some additional reinforcements and a few mounting points, it's possible we could equip even more advanced wrist-mounted weaponry capable of decimating enemy positions. I like it. Which means we now have a project slot available here. Which if we're not going to use, we might as well send our engineer elsewhere. Let's see, one Illyrium core. We have three cores. Battlefield medicine. I don't know if I'm quite ready for that. Experimental grenade. Don't know if I need that. Do we need another exosuit? Let's just give one a try first. A spider suit. I kind of want to get that just to try it. But I would rather start working on this experimental heavy weapons. Sounds good, Commander. So let's get that I'll let you going. Know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Shen, if you could let me know as soon as that's ready for deployment, I'd appreciate it. Alien debris is cleared. Okay. Let's go take a look to see what we have here. So we have a workshop that we're working on. You know, we really need to get the resistance comms, which we do not have. Also, we need more energy there. But let's get the resistance comms going here. Resistance Definitely need to do that. Facility construction initiated. All right. Let's see. Eight days, three days. Let's go ahead and it looks like we have all of our engineers currently employed. Let's get the scientist. Dr. Soon Bok Kim. Sounds like he's from Star Wars. 17% increase in our research. Now let's go get our supply drop. New course. Pick this up. Workshop Thanks, Commander. The new workshop will do just fine. I was expecting some praise, Shen. You know you gotta feed the, I know space is the limited, eagle. Commander. I appreciate the additional workshop facilities. We'll make good use of them. Okay, so if we put somebody in here, it's gonna allow us to have two gremlins. And what the gremlins basically do is they act... Yeah, see, we can put you there. The gremlins will take the place of an engineer and have the same effect. So basically you're doubling up their ability here. I don't think we can do... I guess we can do a workshop gremlin there. And so now... We have two engineers that are not currently busy. Pretty cool. Let's see here, we could actually get a power relay on the shielded power coil, which is a pretty smart thing to do. Let's see, how many people will need to do this? Power relay, 80 supplies, we can handle that. Power relay construction initiated. Okay. We build something here. 
think we're probably lacking either supplies or power. So that means we have an engineer that we need to do something with. The other thing was we could have done is we could have upgraded this. That would have been a short-term fix. So what I think we may do is have this engineer start clearing debris. Let's see, if we did another workshop here, we could have gremlins working one of these two directions. I don't know if we're necessarily going to need that or not, but it is an option. So we have one engineer that is now that is not doing anything. Yeah, I think that's I think that was an erroneous message. Oh, the advanced warfare, which means we have nobody that's injured, so we're gonna go ahead and empty that for now. We're gonna throw you down into clearing debris. Did I get you clicked in there? No. Go back down there. Is the problem. Hey, Let's go to engineering. Back. Few engineers. Advanced Zoe Leroy is doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. I was saying she was busy even though. Or wait, she was in the proving ground? We want to put her back there. No, we want the gremlin there. Okay, now are we finally situated? I think we are. Pickings are slim, but I'm hoping we find a few more recruits who can handle a wrench. I could use that. I don't know if I was encountering a bug there or if I'm. Maybe I'm Nothing just an idiot. I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. All right, Gauss weapons, a Gauss rifle, a mag cannon. You have to like those things. So I think we want to get a look at this uh, shield bearer autopsy right away. Physically, the Advent shield bearers are quite similar to the bulk of Advent's forces and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. All right, very cool. So we're working on that. Let's get back out here. Sorry, I didn't mean to totally cut you off. Supply drop is done. Okay, so this doesn't say we have new staff available. I guess Setting we can fly back, take a sector look. 14, East Asia. Welcome, Commander. So two specialists are available. Medical assistant, rapid construction. You know, I don't know if either of them are really worth doing. Let's see here. Let's see our scanning bonus. We could change it to a rapid construction. Huh. You know, I've never really tried it. It would help us build faster. Let's try it. What the heck? Okay, let's see, what all can we do here? So we have alloys over there, which we probably don't really need. The black market there. Avengers let's go to the black market course. quickly. Let's see what we got going on. You know, we might sell some stuff. Market is open. Let's see, Advent Officer Corpse. Maybe we could sell one of those. Like we have a ton of sectoid corpses, which I don't know if we'd need. Too many of those. Let me get rid of the stun lancer corpse there. After that, you know, it picks up a little bit of money. Then let's go ahead and check out to see what we can actually buy here. 
Let's see, we could rush the research. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. For only 10 intel, why not? Mouton, why not? Do you want to get some extra supplies? Why not? Superior perception. Advanced conditioning. You know, I think after that we're probably good. Okay, so now, Betsy Black, market that. Let's go back Setting to there. For East Asia. Really need to get our radio up so we can actually start doing some, some stuff with that. I don't think I have any options about... Oh, I guess I could build there. And that's probably a pretty smart move. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. These shield bearers are not all that dissimilar from their various advent peers. Their armor is perhaps the most distinctive feature differentiating them. Alright, so experimental armor. Our autopsy of the advent shield bearer gave us some ideas regarding the newest vest designs that by incorporating recovered Illyrium cores could increase soldier survivability in a dramatic fashion. That's interesting. Let's see, the Mouton autopsy is Central rushed. Central Officer Bradford well. has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Mouton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. All right. Okay, so we have some targets here that we can look at. Let's see, East Asia. Our reward would be an engineer. It would also counter the advent alloy padding, which would give the advent extra armor, which is not cool. Let's see here, Operation Shadow King. We'd get a scientist, and it would counter new construction, reduces the alien facility counter by two weeks. You know, you know, I like the scientist, I just don't know if that's the best one to go after. Let's see here, Operation Swift Gaze would give us some intel, which is always useful, and then it would counter the increased detection radius or radii of all enemies. Boy, which is going to be the best one? You know, the the extra padding and armor uh, is kind of brutal. But I, I'm thinking let's go for the scientist. The scientist is a pretty good thing to go after. Setting course for so let's West go ahead and Asia. confirm that. And after this fight, we're actually going to go build that radio tower over there. Are we going to go with the same crew? Is the big question. You know, I think we are. And then pretty soon we're probably going to start working in some other people. You know, at this point it probably would be a smart thing to do. But since I'm, I'm playing so questionably with my with my strategy. I think we just gotta go with the best that we can and, and make it happen. Anyways, this is a good place to stop the video and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. You're watching XCOM 2 and I'm Chris Cavalier.